One of the most frequently used features in Education Edition is an NPC or non-player character. I can use these as a teacher to communicate information to my students, but remember that my students can also use this feature in order to communicate information back to me when they're doing a tour through their world for either you as a teacher or for their peers or family members. To get an NPC, I'm going to click the E button on my keyboard and go into my inventory. The magnifying glass up here at the top allows me to search by name. So I'm going to search by typing in NPC and you see this super cool rainbow spawn egg right here. Grab the rainbow spawn egg and put it here in your hotbar and hit escape to go back to the menu. With the egg in your hand, you're going to right click and it will spawn an NPC right here in front of you with its default settings. Let me show you what you can control on an NPC. By right clicking on the NPC, you can control the name of your NPC. So I'm going to call this one Tour Guide. You can also control the dialogue that the NPC will say in kind of a thought bubble look and feel. You can do this by either pasting in information, so maybe you go to an article that you found on the internet or you have other text you'd like to put there, and you can simply hit Control v on your keyboard to paste this in, or you can start typing in whatever text you want for your students. Down here at the bottom, you can change the appearance of the NPC. So we have about 15 or 20 there to pick from. We have some science characters, and we have some more kind of traditional look and feel. I'm going to pick this guy right here. Down here at the bottom, we also have advanced settings. One of the most powerful parts about an NPC is you can run commands through an NPC, and you can also run websites and URLs. So I'm going to do an example of a website today. By clicking the Add URL button, I can go up here to where it says URL, and again, I can either paste one in from the internet, or I can type one in for scratch. So I'm going to do HTTP, www, I'll just do the Microsoft homepage. And then right here, the button name is actually what the users will see that they will click on. So I'll just do a shorthand for Microsoft, and I'll go back here to the settings. So now I have a name, dialogue, a visual design, and I have a web address there. By turning off World Builder mode, and I'm going to do that by hitting slash, and typing WB on my keyboard, I can see what other people would see when they tour my world. If I right click on this NPC, you can see he now has a name, tour guide, he has text example, he has a look and feel over here on the left, and there's a button down there that says MSFT, which will launch the Microsoft homepage. So imagine you can use these with your students to launch things like videos, and articles and other websites that might be relevant to the learning that they're doing. Remember that you can also launch any URL. So if there's a shared document online, as long as you can hit that document or file with a web address, you can use this as a shortcut for students to get in and out of the game quickly. And as a student, I can place these around my world to show the work that I've done when I've completed my learning in Minecraft.